Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage sidebars and widgets in the VP Rentals team. You can set sidebar for listing pages, you can see it here, or for any other page. In the sidebar you can add the team widgets and in this video you will learn how to manage widgets in sidebar. Also in the team you can add widgets in top bar section and in footer section. First, I will show how to manage sidebars. You will need to go to Admin, go to Appearance section, and here you'll have sidebars. In this section, you can add new sidebars. For example, you can create a sidebar for listing pages, another sidebar for blog posts, and so on. I will add one test sidebar. I will add it for listing pages. The new sidebar will show here, and you'll have the option to remove it. This sidebar will be an empty sidebar and in order to add widgets you will need to go to widgets section here and add the widgets that you want. Along with the custom sidebars that you will create you will also have two sidebars the primary one and the secondary one and you can use this as well. You can see here the sidebar that I just created. Before showing how to add widgets I will go to team options and I will show the team settings for sidebars. You'll have the option to assign sidebars globally to some pages and you will also have the option to assign sidebar custom per page. I will go to appearance and here you will have a global option to set a sidebar for listing pages and categories. For categories you will have the blog categories, the listing categories and the archives. Here you will have the option to disable sidebar or to set the position on the page to be right or left. And also from this drop down you will have the option to select the sidebar that will be displayed on these pages. I will select listing page that I just created and I will save settings. The setting made here will apply for the new listing pages added only from front end and other categories. This is the global option and next I will show how to set different sidebars per page. I will start with the listing page. You will need to edit listing and scroll down to the sidebar settings section. Here you have the option to change settings and they will apply only for this page. I will set here listing page. You'll have this option for pages as well. I will edit the contact form and if you scroll down you'll have here the sidebar settings. Currently it is set to none but if you select right or left and save changes the page will show a sidebar. Going back to admin for pages and blog posts there will not be a global option as they can be added only from admin and at the moment when the page or the blog posts is added in the site you will need to make the settings for sidebar as well. Now I will go to widgets section and show how to manage widgets for the sidebar. I will go to the listing page sidebar and to add a new widget you will need to click the plus button and here you will need to search for the widget that you want to add. You will have many widgets available. If you click browse all you will see here all widgets available. You will have WordPress widgets that you can use to add text, make lists and many other options. And in this section you will see the theme widgets. You will have properties by category, advanced search and many others. I will select random widgets just to show how this works. So I will select the VP state advanced search. You will see it here. Here you can add the title that you want and you will need to save the change. I will go on front end and on refresh you will see the widget for search that I just added. In listings page you'll have the book now widget which will show by default and you cannot manage this widget from admin section. Going back to widgets I will add another widget. I will choose social links. This is the one. You can add here a title and for this widget only the options that are filled in will show in front end. You will need to add your links for each field. I will add just a character so I can show how they will look on front end. I will save changes and on refresh 
you will see the second widget that I just added. Going back, you will also have the option to delete the widgets. You will need to click on them and from here you need to press delete. You will also have many other options. Next, I will go on front end and show how to manage widgets in top bar. This section can be enabled from team options. So I will go to team options, header and here you have show top bar widget menu and you can also enable or disable the option on mobile devices. After you enabled top bar, you will need to go to widgets and look for the top bar widgets area. You will have top bar left widget area and top bar right widget area. By opening them, you will see the widgets that are already added and you can add new ones that you want to be displayed in top bar. The same will happen for the top bar right widget area currently we set multiple currency widget but you can delete it and add another one going back on front end you can also add widgets in footer section you can change the footer number of columns for widgets that can be managed from team options footer you will have the footer type section here you can set four equal columns three columns or other settings I will leave it to four columns and next I will go back to widgets and here you can manage the widgets from footer section. You will have first footer widget area, second footer widget area, third and fourth areas. For each one you will need to set the widgets that you want. For example here we have text but you can delete it and add a different one. You can add any of the widgets available. I will add the login and register widget. I will save changes and on front end I will see the user dashboard for logged in users and the login form for users that are not logged in. If you imported a team demo then in widgets you will need to check each footer section and replace the demo details with your own. You will need to change the social links change the contact details and replace the widgets that you do not want to show here. In this section you will see other sidebars that we created for certain pages. You will see the owner page sidebar. This will show only in the owner pages. I will show and here you will need to change the widgets that will be visible. This is an owner page and here the sidebar will show. Next you'll have splash page bottom right widget area and splash page bottom left widget area. These two sidebars will be used only in the splash page. This is the splash page. Going back to team options, I will add two widgets to show how they will look in the splash page. I will add text in the splash page bottom right widget. I will add text here and for the left area I will add social links widget. I will fill in only the elements that I want to show on front end and I will save changes. I will refresh the page and you can see the social links and the text that I just added. Going back to the widget section, this is the latest widgets interface, but you also have the option to change the interface for an easier use. For that, you can go to plugins and install the classic widgets plugin. I already have it installed. I just need to activate it. And now in widget section, you will have a different interface. You will see it here. You will see the widgets available here and you can add them in any sidebar by clicking on them and selecting here the sidebar where they will show. For example, if you want to display it in secondary widget area, you need to select it and click add widget. Now you will see here the widget and also you will have the option to delete it. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.